Um, basically the middle of the winter we're coming to the end of January and my friend Pete has to answer the fucking phone Southwest another fucking fucking shit fucking salespeople so we're approaching the end of January here uh, 2016 that is I'm crammed in my shop I'm crammed in my little base shop here because I've been overtaken by, uh, you know, helping people out. And we're going to get to that in a minute. But here I am um, working on a collision job. Not really a good paying collision job, but a collision job that will pay some money to help pay the bills. And um, hopefully put some money in the bank to pay the bills. But I don't know. I mean, you know, collision jobs like this don't really pay a lot of money. Especially when it's coming out of the owner's pocket and not the insurance company's pocket. You know, everybody wants a deal, which is cool. I would want a deal too, but, you know, let's really be uh, uh, fucking, you know, realistic about it and, and tell ourselves the business owner has to make some kind of money. But anyway, um, you know, a lot has happened in the last seven months, eight months over here at SWRNC. And two interesting stories that we've been following are pretty much come to an end. Uh, we're going to start out with one story about a guy that wanted to build a custom Jeep. A guy that wanted to transform his Jeep that he's been working on for over 25 years. Well, I wouldn't say he's been working on it, but he's owned it for 25 years. Took it upon himself not to take any of my advice and to do everything by himself, which is cool. That's fine, but I mean, when... You get professional advice from somebody and they try to tell you how to do something, you should take the advice whether you use it or not. I've always believed that watching, listening, and learning is the key to life. And when someone tells you something that they know more about and you pretty much discard it and throw it in the trash, that you are just bullheaded, stupid, and ignorant. But, you know. So we're talking about, uh, you know, Shade Tree Mechanic Larry, Lawnmower Larry, um, Mr. Woodchuck Larry, Beaver Tooth Larry. We've had a lot of names for this guy named Larry around here, but the time has come to say goodbye to Larry because the project has basically come to an end. Let's go look at it and see what we're talking about. And, and be honestly secure with ourselves that he did the best he could. He did the best he could, and he took it to the limit of where he couldn't take it no more. And he possibly enjoyed the trip and the journey down the road of doing something like that. And it'll probably give him memories to last him the rest of his lifetime. And also memories for everybody on YouTube and on the internet worldwide to be able to watch this video set and tell themselves there's a guy that really did something and started something, but did he finish it? Did he finish it? The psychiatric ward would tell you that if you start something, you should finish it. The laws of man would tell you if you start something, do the best you can and take it to the limits of your possibilities and tell yourself that's exactly what you did, the best you could do. So, you know, Who's right and who's wrong in a situation like this? And who can say this and who can say that to anything at all but the guy that actually did it? So what once was a thriving and prosperous area out here called the Shade Tree Garage, um, Larry Beavertooth Larry's Garage, um, with the sun shining in the sky and the leaves whistling in the wind and uh, the tree full of life, was really acting as the mentor to the project. It has come to the end and has whispered and willowed its way to nothing. Um, it is now freezing cold out here outside. Winter has come upon us and the shade tree has died away. The 
project that was so inviting to take an automobile such as this, a late model automobile, and take a body like this and put two together to make the Frankenstein monster that uh, Larry hoped to have has actually come to an end. It is now a ghost town out here. A ghost town that was once living with life and breathing and, and exciting and music playing and, and people working and people talking and people having fun. And now the only thing left is the Jeep. The rusted, rotted, metal body Jeep that can withstand all cold weather and all hot weather and still sit there and look at us the same way it did yesterday. It's a sad situation that the project was taken so far and the memories of working on it were there to last forever have come to an end. The floor was installed many, many months of installing the floor. Not all the way, but pretty close. And, and fabrications were made and situations were handled and steering wheels and steering columns were put in and taken out and added to the car along with pot bottle jacks to, to, to help us out and guide us into the angles of disillusion of will this work? and it won't work. We can't forget about the extension cords, miles of extension cords that reached all the way from my friend Pete's shop all the way down to the Shade Tree shop here. Shade Tree Mechanic Larry used the electricity and poured life into the automobile as he was working on it. I actually looked at this car one day as I was glancing out of my shop up there, way up there, and I looked at the front of the Jeep and I noticed that the Jeep looked a little bit different and when I looked closer it looked like the poor Jeep had a smile on his grill. A smile on his face and it looked like his headlights looked like eyeballs. Uh, it was the shadows hitting from of course the depleted shade tree down onto the grill face of the Jeep. And I started thinking to myself, you know what, this might actually really work. It, 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 it looked like the Jeep had come alive. But now that we look at it, we can see that the Jeep will probably never be alive. And that it will sit for another 20 years, or 25 years, or possibly until time eternity itself ends. Not just for the Jeep's life, but also for our lives. The radiator that was so willingly argued and fussed about that will not work in this, but Larry was going to make it work. The radiator that came out of the Ford Explorer that was going to be put in will not ever be adjusted again. Radiator is what we're talking about. What will happen to the junk and the debris and all of the mess that has been left behind by this depleted project that was once alive? What will happen? What will happen to the lawnmowers that never ran and to the piles of wood that were used enormously on the project and and to the the depleting tarps and and the nails and and the screws and the pot bottle jacks that sit on the table that we once called life 16 penny nails that sit in the jars and tell us that we want to be used. Open our lid and use us. Let us breathe. The pot bottle jack that was used numerous times, hundreds of times, to lift the body up and put the body back down will never be used again. And we can't forget the big log chain that was tied desperately, taking all the breath and the air out of the big shade tree as it held the Jeep in place so it wouldn't tip over sideways. The cinder blocks that were stacked numerous ways, different countless times, to hold the body of the Jeep up off of the frame, to precisely measure it, to precisely set it in place, and to precisely install a come along into the frame rail of itself to be a permanent fixture to make it say, I own a rat rod. Yes, it is a sad day and it's a sad situation, 
But in the other hand, it's a happy situation. It's a situation that says, we tried. We tried to do what we could. We did the best we could. We got as far as we could down the line, and it's over. It's time to go home, sit in front of the fireplace, and eat our popcorn and watch Netflix all at the same time. And dream again that one day I might have time to go out and work on my poor Jeep. The Jeep that I've had for 25 years and the Jeep that I will have for many more years. So the story that you have watched in numerous videos and countless hours of viewing the situation and telling yourself I really had hopes for Larry. I'm rooting for Larry. Larry's my guy, Larry. Has all came to an end. It is now all up to time and all up to, let's just say, the shade tree to let us know what's going to happen next. I believe that the project will never be finished and I believe that it's come to an end. And maybe one day somebody will find the old wreck and pull a big hair out of his ass and say, that is the project I want to finish. That is my dream car right there. The good old Jeep that once got started and never got finished.